Hello everyone, welcome to What The Fuck Happened. Now what the fuck is What The Fuck Happened? Well, it's a free adventure game. I'll have a link in the description to where you can check it out for yourself. But if you're not sold on the title alone and the image of this fine gentleman here, then let me read a couple of the features for you. Among other things, it includes six rooms in color. It contains almost male nudity. And it contains the combining of two or more items for completing puzzles. Okay, now I'm sold. Let's begin. Ugh. What. The. Fuck. Happened. The Peter Pebble Story. Shit. I feel like I've been stomped, eaten, and shitting out by a bunch of elephants. Shit. In my head. There's a nuclear explosion occurring in there over and over and over again. In a bad way. What the hell happened last night? I remember... A flag post? Yep. A flag post. And... No. Just a flag post. That's all. And I don't know where the freaking feck I am. Alright. Peter, switch to problem solving mode. You need to do something about the train crash in your head, and then you need to get out of here. And then, if possible, get home. But before all of this, you need to get up from the bed. Okay. Here we go. I'm about to do it. Watch this. Okay. Okay, righty. You go first and then lefty will be right behind you. I'll rub you both with lotion when I get home. Come on, guys. I ain't joking. You fucking stand up. You fucking stand up or I will amputate you fucking World War I style. So help me God. I'll rip you both off with my bare hands. I'll rip you. I will rip you off. I hate my life. Just hate it. Hate. It. Oh boy. Piece of cake. Now let's get down to business. Okay. <laughs> the back of his underwear says Swede. By the way, wait until you see the inventory system. Oh yes. Watch this. Look at that teddy bear. Yoink. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Look at that smile. 
There's nothing like stuffing someone else's teddy bear in your briefs. God, that is soft. You bet. That probably would actually feel good. It's a blender. I can dig that. Sometimes we all wake up in the middle of the night feeling a sudden urge to blend. I don't feel like putting a blender in my briefs. If I want to blend something, I'll do it right here. Fair enough. What is that? Oh, it's a half of a lemon. No thanks, I'm not a lemon kind of guy. Beep, beep, beep. Beep? Alrighty. I guess that's what I get for trying to talk to it. It's an alarm clock. <laughs> okay, I'm guess I'm, I guess I'm taking it with me. Also, this game has one of the most unreadable fonts I've ever seen. It's really hard to read. Very messy font. I don't think it will fit in my briefs. Even though my briefs are very roomy. They have to be. <laughs> yes, yes, I get it. Thank you. Actually, I just bought the wrong size. Oh. I don't want it. I could at least take the bed sheet or something. Dirty clothes. No, they're dirty. I'm clean. Clean is... Uh... I can't remember. Are you sure you're clean? I seriously doubt you're clean. But okay. If you say so. Okay, what is this string doing here? It's a piece of string hanging from the ceiling. Yoink. I feel like something's gonna come down with it. Ah! Blimey. It's my shoe. Come here. Great. It's like I've always said. One shoe is half a pair. <laughs> that is very true. Alright, let's click on my crotch here. Guess I'll have to wait for the other one until I can actually put them on my feet. It's an old trusty shoe. Or, it's my old trusty shoe. It's made for the right foot, but has on several occasions served the left foot. Mostly due to a lack of perception. A trusted friend, and a fine shoe. I'm sorry I killed your monkey. Huh. I'm sorry I killed your monkey. That's some creepy shit. That is. X beer. Empty beer cans. A dirty sock. A dirty, dirty sock. A pair of sassy looking sunglasses. Yoink. Nice. Uh, no. I've had enough. I had enough yesterday. Did I actually just take the wig? I just took the wig. I now have a wig in my... In my briefs. Can I take the sock too? Yeah. No thanks. Yeah, I guess I wouldn't want a dirty sock either. Nah. It kind of makes the room... That's true. That kind of crooked postcard, it really does fill the room out, doesn't it? It'd be a shame to remove it. Ah, a beautiful view. Oh shit, it's dark in here. Obscure, one might even say, or if one preferred, lightless. Luckily, neither the dark, the obscure, or the lightless frightens me. However, turning on the light would be nice. 
since the dark, obscure, and lightless are known to host rats, ghosts, and gnomes. Not that those things scare me. I just don't like being around them. Alright, they scare me. I really need to turn on the light. Oh. That was easy. Ugh, it's bright in here. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Maybe a bit too bright. I guess I better go before I need a seeing eye dog to complete the rest of the game. Hmm, well I do have some sunglasses, don't I? Can I put them on? Can I use them on myself? Yes. Here. Ew. That is really gross. <laughs> he just took sunglasses out of his crotch. It's too dark for them in here. Okay, let me see if I can go in there and then put them on. Now I can turn the lights on without losing my good eye. Okay. There we go. Look at that smile. He's happy. Former hotel tell. Ah, it's been liberated from the hotel, I guess. Oh my god, this feels fuzzy. And smells... Fuzzy? Wait, how does something smell fuzzy? What does fuzzy smell like? Mirror, mirror on the wall. Why am I naked in a stranger's home? Sadly, my breath is beyond the help of toothpaste. What else is in there? Ooh, hair wax. I don't need it. My hair is perfect. Aspirin, yes, that I can use. Yes! Anything else in there? Bath foam. I've always said nope to soap. Oh, I enjoy getting sick all the time. Toothbrush and glass. The glass is stuck to the sink. Yuck. Wash my hands, you say? Hmm, no. No, I don't believe in toilets. Wait, what? Then where do you go to the bathroom? Okay. Can I put on the wig? No. It doesn't match my sideburns. And besides, people wouldn't recognize me. Well, let's go ahead and take the aspirin. Surely he'll want that, right? I need to mix it with water first. Oh. Hmm. Can I do anything with the bathtub? It's a big bathtub. Shower curtain. Can I talk to the shower curtain? Apparently not. Fair enough. Okay. There is no time. Maybe later. No, I didn't. I didn't mean to touch myself. I meant to open the door. Squeak! Christ, that sound is crushing my brain. I don't think I'll be able to open that door until I get rid of my headache. Okay. So I need to take the aspirin. Well, there's a glass in the bathroom, but it's stuck. How would I unstick it? I could attempt to blend the aspirin. 
I neither want to chop that nor mix it. Okay. I suppose I could just try to use the aspirin on this. I don't want to get it wet. Hmm. Maybe I can fill my shoe with water. Yeah. Wait, is that actually working? A shoe full- what? Did that actually work? I was joking. I- That was the joke solution. Did that actually work? Oh my god. I think I might have just solved it. Better use all of them. Yes. A drug-filled chew. I love it. Oh my god. I can't believe that's actually a solution. I was joking. <laughs> okay. I will take it. <laughs> oh my god, that is gross. Ew. Wow, this stuff works instantaneously. I feel like frickin' English royalty on cocaine, getting a... a hot stone massage, I think that said? In zero gravity. My head is finally free of filth and ready for action. Blow the horns, for here I come. Music to my ears. Oh yes, an exit. Time to fly. Jesus Christ, the door has no handle. What kind of madman would unscrew the handle of his front door? Looks like I'm stuck here a while longer. Rat on a string. What? Why? There's no possible way I would ever need a rat tied to a string. It would be outright stupid to bring that with me. Oh, but you don't want to put a rat on a string in your briefs? It'd be comfy, fuzzy. Is the rat dead? <laughs> or is it just like hanging there alive? Controller. What's the point? I'll never really gain control. No thanks. Red isn't really my color. Nah, I don't roll that way. Nah, I see you don't roll that way because it's a roller skate. Good one. Good one, Peter. It's a nice little wooden piece. I found some glue. I think that's a glue. No thanks, it looks stupid enough as it is. That was glue, wasn't it? Yes. That U looks awfully like a V, doesn't it? In fact, it looks exactly like a V. <coughs> what about this door? It's locked, of course. Big surprise. No, I shouldn't take it. It really makes the room. Alas, poor York. That must be a reference to something, but I don't know what. Stupid painting. It does seem pretty stupid, doesn't it? I would look really stupid carrying that around in my briefs. Oh, mysterious upside down lady in... Oh god, what did that say? guess not. I'm not sure what that said, but I tried to talk to it and not surprisingly it didn't respond. It's exactly what it looks like. A window to another dimension. Oh. Oh, okay. It's a stupid painting. Blue cup. 
Nah, I have a thousand of those at home. Not really into interior decorating. That does not surprise me. It's a couch with lots of suspicious looking stains on it. Hmm. I didn't think people use these anymore. It feels very 90s, like toothbrushes and condoms. Nah, I don't want it. No man, I'm pretty sure just touching the bottle will bring back my headache. Okay, let's not drink wine. Yucky mess of old cigarettes. Did, oh my god, did he just... Maybe putting a pile of smoked and beer-drenched cigarettes against my genitals was not such a good idea. <laughs> oh well, that's karma, I guess. That is disgusting. Ew. Wet. They're, they're wet. Nah, cold and old pizza just isn't my thing. Book page. Read that for later. Garden gnome. Why is there a garden gnome in the... Duh. What's the point of even asking that question? I'd rather keep my distance. He looks fierce. Hello, funny little man. Who are you calling funny little ass face? You can talk. Of course I talk, you fuckface. Uh... Do you grant wishes? Smoke? Yes, I fucking smoke. Do I need a fucking cigarette? Yes, I need a fucking cigarette. Do I have a fucking cigarette? No, I have no fucking cigarettes. And I'm fucking incapacitated until I get one. So give me a smoke or get out of my fucking sight. Jeez Louise, somebody's a real grumpy little fellow. Well, would you like some wet crotch cigarettes? He doesn't want that. Ah, okay. Hold on, what about the note? Uh, I'm trying to defeat this horrible font. Pavly? Is, is that an A? Is that a lump? Is that a lump of feces that's there? Is that an A? I think it's an A. Pa what the... I didn't finish reading it, man. Come on. Pavly's exclusion principle explains why matter is rigid and impermeable. Why we do not sink through the floor or push a hand through a table. It's also responsible for the existence of neutron stars and white dwarfs. Okay, so Pavley's the one responsible. Good to know. Okay, what? For a surprisingly dirty kitchen, it's surprisingly clean. Uh, what is that? Oh, it's a mountain of beer. What is that? It's a rag that has bugs flying around it, which makes me think it's kind of dirty. I guess there really was a party last night. No wonder I'm having trouble remembering. Yuck, I'm not touching that. I don't need any of that stuff. There's a bunch of stuff on a shelf. It looks like a closet or a pantry. What's inside? All right, let's see what's in the pantry. Oh my, cornflakes. That's some intense stuff. <laughs> oh my god. And what else do we want? It, oh, my, what did that say? I don't want anything else. He just put cornflakes in his crotch. Oh, macaroni. Mac macaroni? Is that an A? Looks like an O. Looks like it says macaroni. 
brand name copyright thing? I'm not really sure. It's gotta be a brand name copyright thing. I mean, look at these corn flakes. I start with a Q. It's corn flakes, the vegan choice. They contain no meat, but a lot of sugar. Macaroni. I can't believe it isn't pasta. Also known as the straight macaroni. <laughs> Vacuum cleaner. Hmm, I can use it on stuff. It's classic electro... something. It's an old school oven. Great for cooking stuff that doesn't fit in a microwave. Why use that one when there's a microwave on the counter? Nothing of interest in here. Nothing there. And nothing there. It's a big ass fridge. Hmm. Big and empty fridge. Ooh, ketchup. I'll take that. Don't, don't put the ketchup in your crotch. Oh my god! Dijon mustard! I'll help myself, thank you very much. Oh no, don't put that in your crotch, too. Uh, nothing else in here of interest. <laughs> Note on the fridge. Buy food. Eh, it's good to have food in your fridge. I need to put something in it first. Okay, what's up with this rag? It's a yucky looking rag. No thanks. Aww. It's so old, I don't think I could use it. It isn't even liquid anymore. I don't need to wash my hands. Okay, what would I want to vacuum up? The rag? These won't work together. Uh, the beer? <laughs> I don't want to vacuum that. Is there anything I can vacuum here? Hmm... Hmm. Hmm. Don't think so. Can you take it with me? Whoops, I clicked out of the game. Okay, what now? Phone. Call 911. Please help me. Let's call for pizza. Pizza Joe's Pizza. Oh, pizza Joe's Pizza Heaven. What's up? Yeah, hi, my name's Peter An- Oh, wow, 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 I- I don't need your freaking life story. What the fuck does that say? I can't even read this stuff before it disappears. Your root tone has deprived me of all the pizza hunger. Words. Well, I have never. That was uncalled for. Nah. Okay, let's call my mom. Peter, is that you? Uh, yeah, mom. How did you... Oh, Peter. Do you want money? Is that it? No, mom, I just wanted to... Oh, you're killing me, Peter. You're killing me. Do you know that? You're snuffing out my life force. I'm still young. Sorry, Mom. I just... W oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I made you cry. My little baby boy. No, Mom, I'm not crying. I just wanted to ask you... Oh, Peter. Why don't you ever talk to me? How can I help you if you won't even talk to me? Well, I'm calling now to... Oh, Peter, this isn't getting anywhere. I really need to go. Janet's taking me to the shooting range today. Bye. Sweet Jesus. Okay. 
So inside of my briefs are a teddy bear, an alarm clock, a blonde wig, bath foam, a shoe, sunglasses, glue, a pile of wet old cigarettes, a book page, cornflakes, macaroni, ketchup, and Dijon mustard. Okay. Well, I could make some food here. I could obviously heat stuff up, but what's the point? What in the hell am I supposed to do with this crap? Am I high? Am I a big shit face? Yes. She thanks. This can't be real. Shut the fuck up. I can't listen to this. I need a fucking smoke. What's up with all the profanity? I'm sorry, man. I'm just really hungover and really, really, really craving a smoke. Okay, have I missed something? Wine, pizza... Ooh, window. There's no obvious way of opening it. Well, you could break it. Besides, I like my air old and damp. Ooh, books. No thanks, I'm more of the picture book kind. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. This door's called Only Way Out. Okay, I think I'm supposed to do something in the kitchen, but what? I could heat up some macaroni. I don't want to microwave that. Okay. I could glue something, but glue what to what? Also, why in the hell do I have an alarm clock on me? What am I going to do with that? I have n I literally don't know a single thing to do with this stuff. Oh, it disappeared. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. Rubber glove. It's tempting, but I promised myself I'd quit. What in the hell? Do I need to dry out the cigarettes? It says wet. Even if I got rid of the wet, they'd still be old cigarettes, but maybe they'd be usable? I don't know. <laughs> can I microwave them? Oh my god, can I? Oh, what the... What would even happen if you microwaved wet cigarettes? I mean, I guess... That might work. Uh, ew. Pling! <laughs> Put them right back in there. Nice and dry. Dry old cigarettes. Okay. Here you go, buddy. He doesn't want that. Oh, god damn. What do I do with them then? I can't make them new cigarettes. Okay, so if I don't give the dry old cigarettes to the talking gnome. Never thought that'd be a sentence I'd say in my life, but yes, if I don't give the dry old cigarettes. To the talking gnome, then what do I do with them? Use it on everything! Didn't work. Hmm, I can use the dry old cigarettes on dry old cigarettes. Nope, didn't work. Hmm.
Is there anything else I can microwave? I mean, I could glue the wig to something, but what? Let's go back and see if there's something I can do with my current items. Back in the starting room. Also, the store's locked, but I don't have the key. Should I try to open it somehow? I don't have anything even remotely key-like. Nah. Alright, there is the blender. Am I supposed to make, like, a cigarette drink, or...? Oh my god, is he actually doing it? Please don't tell me he's gonna blend old cigarettes. Oh my god. No. Please, no. What? Ew! <laughs> Homemade tobacco! Yeah! Am I gonna roll it in this book page? Yes, I am. Okay. Uh... Then... Glue? There we go, my own cigarette. I'm gonna call it the MacGyver. That is... D don't try this at home. Don't try that at home, ever. There's glue in the cig- there's literally glue in the cigarette, and it's gonna be burning. And you're going to be inhaling the smoke. That cannot be safe. Here you go, buddy! Hey, little guy. I've got a nice old cigarette for you right here. <laughs> Thank the fucking gods. Now give me that fat motherfucker. Tastes like a piece of heaven. I did not think you were a garden gnome. Good for you. I especially did not think that you were an assassin garden gnome, sent out by the guardian, uh, the garden council to extract revenge on me. That's sweet. But speaking of gnomes, you're that fucker from last night. Did we meet last night? What did I do? How did I look? And where the hell are we? Do you live here? Hey, 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 you twat. Take it down a notch. I'm too fucking hungover to think straight. Bring me some orange soda to get my head in place. Then we can talk. Orange soda? Yeah, fucking orange soda. Are you fucking deaf? It just has to be orange. Bubbly and sweet. Always picks me up after a rough night. <sighs> orange soda, I guess it is. Okay. Orange, bubbly, and sweet. Well, I can make it orange by putting ketchup in it. I guess... Bubbly. <laughs> bath, foam would, bath foam would make it bubbly. And cornflakes contains crap loads of sugar. The question is, what do I mix it in? The blender? I guess I could try to blend it. Okay, let's start with, eh, I don't know, cornflakes. Let's add some sugar.
And let's put in some ketchup. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Dijon? Yellow and red? Orange? And... Macaroni? Wait, bath foam. Yeah, bath foam. And some bubbles. Done. I need some watering down, true. I guess I can go get more shoe water. Do we need macaroni? Nope. Okay, more shoe water it is. Looks delicious. Yeah. And it's done. I can't scoop up the delicious soda with my bare hands. I need to pour it into something. Okay. Back in the shoe. <laughs> and back in the crotch. There you go, buddy. Some orange shoe soda that'll only kind of kill you. I made you some fine orange soda. Is it bubbly? Yep. Is it sweet? Yep. Is it orange? Well, mm, yeah. It's orange soda. Don't get cocky, fuckface. Do you remember the straw ass wart? The what? The what? The straw. Frog cock. I told you to get a son of a bitch straw ro what? No, you didn't. Pretty fucking sure I did. And I ain't drinking shit until you give me a long fucking straw. Now go to it. Ah, <sighs> the temper on this guy. I guess I'll get him a straw. I can barely even read half of that. Okay. How about a vacuum cleaner? If only I could cut it off. What am I supposed to vacuum with it? Surely I'm supposed to vacu vacuum something at some point or I wouldn't be able to do that. Okay, straw. What would work as, a, work as a straw? Certainly nothing I have at the moment. Maybe a rat on a string? No. What the hell's the solution to this one gonna be? Hmm. 
I don't think there's anything in here. Gotta be in the kitchen, right? It's freaking gotta be in the kitchen. And what was that you needed again? No, I already have the orange soda. I mean, the description for the macaroni did say... Also known as the straight macaroni. So... Maybe I glue them together? Look what I made! A straw! Ah! It actually worked! A macaroni straw glued together. Perfect. There you go. <laughs> Cancer causing orange soda in a shoe with a macaroni straw. You're going to be going to the ER pretty soon. Here you go, buddy. Alright, mister. One orange soda with a straw. I'll just put it here on the table and you can drink it at your own leisure. No. No. Yeah. No. So you don't want the soda anymore. Of course I want the motherfucking soda. But you're going to hold it for me and I'm going to drink it from your hand like you're my motherfucking slave, fuckface. some good fucking stuff. Now let's talk. Okay, who are you? My name is... With the font, I don't know what the hell that says. Bounty Hunter. I get paid to kill people. Yeah, that's right, shitface. So be afraid. Be very afraid. Well, I... You're an angry little man. But you don't really look like a killer. My name is... Is that jocks? That's all you need to know. Uh, whatever. Okay. Okay, where are we? I'm not really sure. I know the feeling. Happens to me way too often. Got any leads? I remember getting in a cab with uh, this guy Ken, so I guess he's the fucker who got me stranded here. So I guess he ought to know. Do you know where he is? No, I don't fucking know where the... Where the... What the fuck does that say? Bad cat? What? You're good friends, I take it. But I've got his. F what? What is even happening? I don't know what that smile means. I don't know what the hell I just said. Damn this font to hell. Okay, so what actually happened last night? Alright, I'll tell you what I remember. I got here sometime late last night. I don't know what the fucking time was. Me and this guy Ken had been out drinking cheap vodka at some shitty sports bar downtown. We got drunk like fucking Cal Caligula, and I remember getting into a cab. I guess Ken knew somebody at this fucking party or whatever. I sure as hell didn't. Anyway, the place was crowded when we got here. And I was on, like... I was on, like, fucking 1999? Is that what that said? What? I don't know what this means. This place don't look like the day after a party. I agree. I don't know what's up with that. <laughs> Tell me more about Ken. He's a fucking pothead surfer with a temper. Worse than yours. 
Watch it, shithead. I've got my eye on you. Okay. What was his number again? Three, three, one... Why is it so fast? Should I write this down? I guess I'll write it down. Okay, hold on. Almost got it. I think I got it. Three 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 one seven seven six one one seven eight nine. I think I got it. Great. Lovely chatting with you. Let's call Ken. I probably didn't even need to write it down, did I? Nope. Oh my god, it's in the pile of beer cans. Ah. Oh. Sounds like it's ringing from the mountain of beer. Now do I need to vacuum it? <laughs> Attack it. Yeah. Is that Ken? That's Ken. Hello. Still sleeping. Alright, so I gotta wake him up, huh? I guess that's Ken. Although I can't really see the Keanu Reeves aspect of him. Wait, what? Is he supposed to look like Keanu Reeves? When did we establish that? I vacuum his face. I don't want to hurt the poor guy. Oh, but I kind of do. Hmm, what about the alarm clock? That won't wake him up. Ah, oh, but it's an alarm clock. Just set the alarm and yeah. That's how that works, isn't it? Never mind that I don't have anywhere to plug it in. Have a wig. I'm thinking. What if I fill up my shoe again and dump it on his head? Can I fill it up in the sink? Yes, I can. That would just be rude. We're kind of past that part, aren't we? Who even cares at this point? Okay. Do I just call him again? I can't. See if he has any advice. Nope. I have no idea. Have a teddy bear. I don't think I should give him something cuddly. Already tried the alarm clock. And already tried the wig. Glue. I don't think I have anything that's going to wake him up. No. Actually, what did that say? 
I'm sure they would look great on him, but it won't wake him up. And of course, I've already tried this. Can I just... <laughs> Can I vacuum up the rest of the pile? I better not touch him, he looks sticky. Ew. Hmm. What if I shoved the lemon in his eyes? Ah, I can't even pick it up. I have no idea. I don't... Can I combine any of this stuff? Let's try everything. Let's try literally everything. Yes, that's a no. So I don't need to combine anything in my inventory, that's for sure. I want to make, like, the stuff on the shelf fall on his head. I think pouring water on his head seems pretty damn logical, doesn't it? But he doesn't want to do that, apparently it's rude. This alarm clock also makes a lot of sense, but I can't seem to use it. Like we have the teddy bear? No. I'm at a loss. <laughs> I'm at a, I'm stumped at the wake Ken up part. I didn't get stumped at the blend an orange soda and make a straw out of macaroni part. But I got stuck at the wake Ken up part. Who would have thought? Maybe I just need to keep talking to him. Oh my god, the kitchen's on fire! Everybody get out! Nope. What in the fuck do I do? I'm probably just missing a hot spot. Okay, well let me keep working at it and I'll be right back. 
Okay, I think I just found the solution. It turns on it turns out I was onto something before with the alarm clock. I actually read every single hint in the entire hint thread about this game, and the, the ironic thing is none of them helped. I just figured it out on my own right now. Close the pantry door, there's an outlet. That's gotta be where the alarm clock goes. Yep. Okay. That is an extremely detailed image of an alarm clock. I didn't expect that. Uh. Do any of the buttons work at all? Does, does anything? Oh, there we go. Something. Something happened. The radio's on now. Cool. The alarm doesn't seem to be working. Maybe I need to turn the volume up? Is that what this is? Am I turning it up? I don't know. Let's turn the radio back on. Okay, turn that volume up, yeah. Aw, resets. Static. Okay, I need something to blare, come on. The volume's too low. Why? It's changing stations when I turn up the volume? What the hell? More lovely static. What the hell is wrong with this thing? So wait a minute, every time I turn this up, the station goes down, and every time I turn it down, the station goes up. In that case. In that case, what? Okay, hold on, which one's the good one? Is it 98? 100? It's 100, okay. So, I need to, what the fuck do I need to do? <sighs> How do I do this? Actually, I guess I could just, yeah, I just keep doing this. Yeah, okay. One, two, three. This should do it? No. It moves by two increments. Are you kidding me? It moves by two increments. Cruel and un un unusual punishment this is. Okay. So, one... Two, three. This will work, I think. Yes, here we go. I got you, babe, babe, some, babe, something about babe. I think it worked. Dude, that was totally uncool. I remember you. You do? Then maybe you can't... You're a total douchebag, man. I get that a lot. 
No wonder, Duder. You're a complete bag of shit. Yeah, I get that a lot too. Hey again, I was what? Shut up, Wax Boy. Wax Boy? Just get out of my face, Donker. Okay. Well, that didn't help much of anything. But I do remember when I read the hint thread that I might need to change my appearance. And there's some wax in here. Let's give it a shot. I also have a wig. Hmm. And besides, people wouldn't recognize me. No shit, that's the point. Maybe I need to be in the room? Just like the sunglasses? Oh, here we go. <laughs> oh my god. Hey dude, that wig makes you look even more like a... What does that say? I don't even know what that said. I don't think it worked. How about that? Hmm? Hmm? How about now? Hey, Duder, how's it? Wow, Duderino, didn't see you there. Nice curls, Brody. You surf? Totally, dude. Mind if I ween you... Ween you about something? What? No probs, go ahead, Doodalicious. So, Brody, you're Ken? I'm Ken, dude. Right on. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. You got some pot? Sorry, dude. Bummer. So what's your label, dude? I'm... Johnny Utah. For real, man? Totally. Whoa. That's wicked, man. Totally. Man, that's raw. So what are you doing in a pile of cans, man? Some freaking stander with what for a, a but what? What do you call it? Uh, condition, yeah, condition. Weakened condition and totally punked me. Whoa, that's uncool, man. Right on, right on, dude. Totally, dude. Why don't you get out of there? Too weak at the moment, man. Too weak. Hey, you know that guy that calls himself a bounty hunter? Yeah, dude. That guy's a killer. No way, man. Way, man. Totally no way, man. Totally way, man. He's a, uh, um, you know. Hey, hitman, yeah, hitman for the mob or something like that. No way, dude. Way, dude. But he looks so small. Yeah, but that only makes him sneakier, you know? Whoa, bro. Yeah, bro. So how do you know him? You know, he's the guy I buy my pizza from, dude. Or, wait, Rizla? What, what did that say? Rizla? That wasn't pizza. Rizla. What's even happening now? Is that pizza or What the fuck? Did that say Rizla? What the fuck is Rizla? Pa now they're talking about paper? I don't even know what just happened. Uh, do you have the front door handle? Sorry, dude. Know where it is? Can't help you, man. Okay. 
Where are we? Dude, uh... Yeah. I'm not really sure, man. I got the spiffy text from this mug I've been... What the... What? It's like... This part... What? I can't read that. Bring your abs and get over here real quick. Says... Words. <laughs> the address is something with street or something. Wonderful. You sure you don't know where we are? Who lives here? <sighs> Did he give me anything useful? Later, bruh. Is there someone I can call now, or, or what? I don't even know what, what half the shit he just said was. Well, that doesn't help. Nor does that help. Okay, I think I need to put my disguise back on. Uh, maybe it'll do it automatically. Mm, maybe not. Put it on. There we go. Okay. Did I miss something? Mm-hmm. He's a killer. I know. You know someone named Peter. Not sure if I asked that before. Don't even mention that cook man. Cook, rather. He's the wank who put me in this, uh, um. We know I did ask that conundrum. Does that even say conundrum? I don't even know if that says conundrum. I can't read half of this text. The font's too shitty. Yeah, he's just like a stellar surfer with nothing but love for everyone around him. Did you see the evil in his eyes? Did you smell his... Jed? That was a Jed. Okay, so what does Peter have to do with you being in a mountain of beer cans? Bruh. Just like everything, dude. Dude. Dude's the word, dude. I was in, uh, you know. A prison, yeah, a prison. A prison of the mind, man. Collapsed in, the, in this corner, like imprisoned by the boundaries of my, uh, corporal self. Heavy, word heavy. Heavy's the word, duder, and this dude, Peter. Very uncool. Very uncool. So he's like, he like enters bra and start cleaning his words. Yeah. He's like, whoa, dude, this thing gone out the window and stuff. Did he really say that? Because that doesn't really sound like him. No, duder. He wasn't saying that. But that was what he was like doing, you know? Tool. So, uh, and what? 
So he starts putting the empty cans like on me, dude. And I'm like totally incapacitated, bruh. So I can't be, I, I can't do turd. What? I'm like, what? Screwdriver in my hand. Wait, you have a screwdriver? This will save your life. Keep it with you always. A screwdriver? Yeah, dude. Like, vodka with orange juice? No, dude, like Phillips. Oh, so, like electronics. No, tool, like a thing you use to, like, put screws in, brah. Oh, yeah. Uh, can I have it? Sure. Thanks, bruh. Are you sure we're talking about the same Peter? Dude, does he have like Adrian Brody's nose, dude? Well, it isn't that big. But he has a nose, I guess. It's the same Peter, dude. You're really sure we're talking about the same Peter? Does he sometimes move like he was like made of wool, wood, dude? He has a uh, medical condition that makes his joints stiff. It's the same Peter, dude. You're absolutely sure Peter is Peter. I'm sure, dude. Really? Okay. Did I already ask him what happened? Oh yeah, that Peter dude, was he like being a whack or something during the party? Dude, he was like, you know, uh... The king. Yeah, king. King of uncool, bro. Like the Elvis of evil, man. And stuff like that. Dude. So what did he do, bruh? At first I just thought he was... shacked out of his mind? You know, like regular crazy. And then I see him weaseling up on this guy Jacques from behind, then whacking him in the head with a... you know. Gnome. Yeah, gnome. Whacking him over the head with a gnome, dude. And then stealing his pack of smokes, dude. And at first I'm like, whoa, man, I'm cool. But then I'm like, Whoa, dude, Jox is gonna kill him when he wakes up. And suddenly, dude, the apartment is totally empty. And I'm like, whoa, where did everyone go, dude? And you know, I'm starting to get the, uh, you know, um, munchies, yeah, munchies. I'm getting the munchies and suddenly the Peter dude walks up with scary timing and offers me some pizza, dude. And me and him and some other guy in a suit, we eat the hell out of that pie, bruh. That cheese was poison, man. Suddenly I just collapse in the corner, you know? And I'm like, whoa, I sometimes collapse in a corner, but I don't usually drool, and I'm pretty sure I'm usually able to move my arms and legs. Somebody slipped a pill on my pizza, man. Uncool, dude. Totally, man. I'm gonna go now. Later, bruh. That was an interesting conversation. <laughs> okay, I'm assuming I can use the screwdriver on... Um, the drain? Yes, I think so. <clears throat> okay, let's see what we've got in here. You never know when you're gonna need a pile of hair from the drain. You know what I mean. Disgusting pile of hair. Okay, what the hell am I doing with a bunch of hair? Glue it. Seriously, what do I do with this hair? I have no idea. Can I use this to like... 
get myself out? I'm screwed. Haha. -ha. Oh, wait, is it actually... Oh. Hold on, I think it worked. Oh. Uh... He's been in there a while. Thirteen days, judging by the marks. Oh, man. You're back. I was starting to think you'd gotten me... You'd forgotten me in here. I knew I could trust you. Yeah. I'm your man. I'm trustable. So, it's a little hazy. You're Mr. Pink. And that makes me Mr. Orange. No. Oh well. Who are you? You don't remember me? Sorry, man. My memory's a little... tilted from last night. Okay, okay. I'm Frank. Hey, Frank. Nice to meet you. So we met last night? Did we meet? Boy, did we meet! You saved my life! I did? You sure did, partner. Wow. How exactly? Well, if it weren't for you, I wouldn't have had a clue that they were out to kill me. Who were out to kill you? Everyone who was here at my party. I thought they were my friends, but now I know they're really not. I was so naive. Oh yeah. They were out to kill you. Y yep. Sure as eggs. So how did I go about, practically, to save your life? Well, first of all, you made everybody leave. But that darn surfer dude wouldn't go. So you fed him some poisoned pizza. And he passed right out. Wow. Yeah. Very clever of me. Yeah. But as you very accurately pointed out, I still wasn't safe. You weren't? No, because they can possess your mind through... Gamma rays. But you had read that the only way to stay protected is to install yourself with great fear. Or instill yourself with great fear. And since I'm claustrophobic, you thought it best to lock me in the closet. Gee, it must have been a long night. Yeah. It's been a long night. But anyway, so you put a door handle in my hand, and then I sat down in this corner. And then I locked you in. Yep, but first I gave you my monkey. Your what? My monkey. My pet... something monkey. Uh, he doesn't like the dark, so I asked you to take care of him for me. And then you said, I will protect him with my life. As if he and I were one. And then you closed the door and locked it. Yeah. And now you're back. Do you know where my clothes are? No. <laughs> so, uh... Can I have the door handle and... By the way, your monkey's perfectly fine, just don't ask about him. Sure. Just give me my, mon my monkey. Yeah, I'll just go get him. Gotta go, man. Uh, about that monkey. I think I killed your monkey. Judging by the writing on the wall that says, I'm sorry I killed your monkey. So, I think I need to make one? Or something? Do I glue this to the teddy bear? I think I'm making a teddy monkey. It's a little monkey. <laughs> it doesn't look anything like a monkey. It looks like a teddy bear that's crudely had some glue applied and then some disgusting body hair glued to it. That, oh my god. Let's hope his vision is really poor.
Here's your monkey. <laughs> oh man, I missed him. He's a little quiet though. Uh, yeah, can I have the door handle now, please? Bye! Enjoy your monkey! Alright, this is it. Time to break free. Time for Peter to once again walk the streets of the city. But am I ready? Am I really ready to spread my wings and leave the safety of the nest? To say goodbye to everything I know? To forever leave this place where I made a complete ass of myself and did terrible things of which I have no recollection of? Yes. And there you have it. I finally made it outside. Although I have a feeling that I encountered yet more problems as soon as I stepped foot outside. Such as maybe being arrested because of the fact that I walked outside while just wearing underwear. Maybe he's being hauled off as I speak. <gasps> What's that? The monkey! It's alive! It's not dead. <laughs> oh, of course it couldn't have been dead. It was just in the drain somehow. How did it get down there? I guess that's the question of the night, isn't it? For pretty much everything. How did that happen? How did this happen? Why am I here? Where are my clothes? Nobody knows. Okay, well there you go. That... was actually really good. <laughs> Excuse me. That was a hell of a lot of fun. Aside from some kind of fiddly puzzles, that were a little bit frustrating. Aside from that, it was just really... It's just really fun. Totally ridiculous and stupid in a really fun way. Just enjoyable to play. It's refreshing. It's been a while since I've played a game like that. In fact, I don't know if I've ever played a game like that. I've certainly never played a game where you put... where your inventory is... your briefs. But I like it. I think more games should have you shoving items into your pants. Into your underwear. I like it, yeah. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of What the Fuck Happened. Thank you for watching.